Congratulations on your retirement, Danny. And, and you opened up with your presser saying that it's a bittersweet day. You've been in professional sports for 44 years. What are the emotions like for you? Well, so I've been thinking about it for quite a long time. So the emotions are good, a little bit relieved that this day is over and that, you know, everybody knows of what's I've been having to keep inside as we were making a transition. So, um, yeah, I feel I feel good about today. I like I like the direction of the team. I'm excited about the future of the Celtics, and um, I've been looking forward to this opportunity of freeing up time in my life. Mm -hmm. You said you were thinking about it for a while, and, and after the heart attack is when you started to kind of really rethink your life and retirement. What was the deciding factor on saying, you know what, this is it for me? I don't, I don't know if there was one thing, Amanda. I, I, I know there was a time when I decided to with, to talk to Wick about and, and Steve about this, but, um, you know, I was, it was affected me when Casey Jones passed away this year and Paul Westfall, my two former coaches, um, Tommy Heinsohn. Um, like, I just think that, you know, that had some effect on me. I'm not saying that it was just the only thing, but I just know life is short. And so I've been thinking about it for a while. And it was just, I was just sure after resting on it for a period of time that this is what I, I needed to do. And um, I didn't need to worry about the Boston Celtics. Like they're in great hands. And uh, once I really felt that and believed that, then it was just a lot easier to, to make my move. We all know how the media has responded to the news, but Danny, how have the players responded to the news and what have your conversations been like with them? Um, so I haven't talked with all of them yet. Um, it's a long night last night. Some even stayed in Brooklyn last night, but um, players are gonna be fine. I mean, I, I just, you know, this this is part of part of the business and I have good relationships with them and I'll, I'll continue to have good relationships with them and um, be a resource for them as they move forward. And, um, but, you know, that's a part of the, part of the job. We talk about relationships, but haven't specifically talked about player relationships as much, but I love the players of today. Um, I, I love how hard they work. I love how humble they are. I love how um, they just, you know, they, this team, like in particular this year, they, they really stuck together in spite of so much adversity that they faced and, and, and not living up to expectations. But each and every year, um, I like all the guys, the guys that are, you know, can kind of be a pain in the butt and the guys that are the stars of the team. And, you know, they just all bring something different. And it's, it, I'm going to miss that part of it is the interaction that I have with players. Well, as Brad Stevens now steps into your role, how did those conversations go for you too? And why do you think that he is the best fit, Danny? Um, you know, Amanda, Brad is just, he's just real. He just works and he's smart and he understands the game of basketball. Um, he's a great person. Uh, so his leadership skill is different than mine. Um, you know, I, I go around you know, making fun of people and joking and teasing. And we all love that though. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just, but Brad's style is like, it's just a different style, but I, I, I'm just a, a big fan of his. And again, I feel like just like I didn't do the work that has all been done in Boston, we've had a good team. And I think that our team is now 17 years working with Mike Zarin and, you know, 11 or 12 years with Austin and, like these guys know me, they know how I think, they know what I think about everything. And like, they'll be able, they'll be a huge help for Brad and Brad will be a help for them too. They'll see a different perspective from Brad than they do from me. And I'm excited about that growth and I'm excited to, to watch the Celtics continue to blossom. Now, do you think you're gonna be able to fully step away or do you think you might be somewhat involved even in the new coaching hire? So I don't know, I don't, I mean, they have asked me to be, but I think I'll have pretty good feel for how much they need me and how much I can help and offer. Um, it won't be my hire for sure. Mm. Uh, it'll be theirs, it'll be Wick and, and Brad together with PAGS and, 
and Austin and and players on the team, I'm sure might have a say in it. I, I just think that I'll, I'll know how much I can help and how much when it's time to, to let them go. Well, you've done so much for the city of Boston and just the relationships that you've built. What do you want to be remembered for, Danny? Um, you know, like I've always said, Amanda, that the, the most important things I learned as a player were the relationships you build in, in the work is the most fun. And I don't really, I never really thought of legacies and that, I mean, it's day to day, just the people. And um, there's a lot of people in ownership group. We have a big ownership group and I have a lot of great relationships with them and received many wonderful messages from them. And those moments, and they appreciate what I've done uh, they appreciate the amount of work that I put in and what we've accomplished uh, here over these last 18 years. And that's all I need. That's, yeah. I'm happy with that. Would you say that the relationships are, are what you will remember the most? Yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, I'll remember, I'll, I'll remember the, the tough times. Uh, I'll remember the great times. I'll remember the relationships. I'll remember a lot of the basketball too. I mean, the basketball is fun. I mean, that is a really fun part of the job. And um, the moments that we celebrated and um, the moments that we couldn't, that I lost a lot of sleep, not being able to, um, you know, just needing time to get through the tough days. But um, I'm looking forward to having less stress and to be able to make those three foot putts a lot easier. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say the million dollar question, what does retirement like? life look like for you and will you be taking wheezy on the golf course not yet wheezy's not ready to caddy I, I tried teaching wheezy to caddy but he was you know stealing the golf ball and running away with it so <laughs> wheezy's got a long way to go but i miss wheezy um so here you I'll, go danny i have this on my refrigerator oh, a photo yeah. of wheezy as he really is our therapy animal i love this dog too so i'm i'm really excited that you're going to get to spend not only more time with your family but but wheezy as well. <laughs> well, you know, with the quarantine on, it's been tough, but like I thought that some of our players could use wheezy in their ball handling drills because yeah. he, he's a pest and he makes ball handling very difficult. But um, unfortunately, without being able to be tested on a daily basis, we haven't been able to get wheezy in the facility lately. So, um, but yeah, no, I look forward to, um, I can look forward to seeing wheezy and all of my grandchildren a lot more. Yeah. Well, Danny, I just want to say, you know, thank you personally for how wonderful you've been to me. And I'm not going to cry. <laughs> I told myself I wouldn't cry, but you've just been so supportive for my time here in Boston and just such a strong advocate for women in sports. And I'm, I'm really going to miss getting to work with you. I know that we'll still keep in touch off the court, but I just wanted to say I'm, I'm so thankful for you and um, I'm really happy for you. And again, congratulations. Thank you, Amanda. That means a lot to me, but you know, you can call me and get me on the air. Like I can do interviews. I know, I know. Now it's the, just the Zoom, more of the closeness. Like, get me you know. on the golf course or with Wheezy to do a pregame show. Why don't I just join you guys <laughs> on the golf course with Wheezy? I'll be the, the dog nanny too. And I'll, we'll do the interview there. I'll just follow you around wherever you guys go. So I'm sure Reisfelder will put that in the budget right immediately. <laughs> <laughs> well, Danny, thank you so much. Thank you, Amanda.